Hi guys, uh, Turning Hopes here with another uh, YouTube video and I'm starting to get my schedule um, a little bit organized for you guys. So what I'm going to try and do is, uh, let's think of a schedule that I'm going to probably do, which is probably Sundays, Tuesdays, and probably Thursdays. I'm going to do about three days a week so I can get a hold of like what kind of content you guys would like to see or what kind of schedule you guys would like to you know see and you know just go with and everything so for this video um we are going to be doing uh a vinyl slash record uh collection because my last video i did a whole cd collection and i feel it was about like 20 or 30 cds that i showed you guys and uh yeah let's just go and get started okay so this is an ep and the ep is called outgrown things by a band called movements they're more of kind of emo slash uh, pop punk that this kind of surprised me a lot this kind of really surprised me um when i heard much of this um uh, album before by a lot of people around 2017 i believe i was like okay i'll check it out and everything but once i started listening to it a lot more this really impressed me. So I give a shout out to uh, this band for sure, definitely. And I've seen them live, they're fantastic. Okay, so this vinyl, I actually, this is actually uh, two EPs into one vinyl. So this EP is uh, Walkabout by Keep Flying and then on the back it's Follow Your Nightmares by uh, Keep Flying. I saw this band live around October of last year, I believe. And they are more of like a pop punk band, but they're more of a band called Yellow Card where they play uh, violins, but this band, they play uh, saxophones. So yeah, I highly recommend listening to this band. They are so good live and they really really need some love and support right now even though no one can tour at this moment which is really sad because you know of what's going on but um just of these two uh vine um, not vinyls these two eps i highly recommend anyone listening to this band if you are more of listening to saxophones or more confident um, music or positivity or pretty much any music that's more pop punk with like other instruments i highly recommend this shout out to keep flying okay one of my favorite albums of all time is this is called a day to remember uh, this is a band called a day to remember and this album is called homesick this i've been i've been listening to probably ever since I was probably like 14 or 15 years old. So I've been listening to this for like six years. So I love the art, by the way, <laughs> as you can tell. And all the songs, all of it is perfect. All of it is so good. Um, yeah, like I said, I've probably been listening to this band for like six to seven years. And they are more of a pop punk slash metalcore kind of a band. If you are more of like a um, like a big uh, heavy bass and heavy drummed uh, kind of a person to be listening to this band, yeah, please check them out. Check all of their albums, all of it. And probably my favorite, um, probably my favorite song on there probably has to be. Uh, I mean, there's a lot, <laughs> but Mr. Highway is thinking about the end, homesick, and holding it down for the underground but of course the songs that are really good is the downfall of us all i'm made of wax larry what are you made out of all the songs i love them all of it i highly recommend this then this album enema of the state by blink 182 this is probably my favorite album of this band blink 182 100 percent 100 percent so if you guys are more of a pop punk, um, old school pop punk uh, kind of person and would like to be interested in any music, no matter what it is, it's more like, you know, positivity lyrics or just, you know, any fun lyrics to listen to more pop punk wise. This is my favorite album from Blink-182. There's tons, 
of, well, probably a lot of Blink-182 albums anyone likes, but that is my favorite overall. Okay, so this is the band I was talking about, Keep Flying, um, Unbreakable. And this is another EP, I forgot to say about this. And this has only uh, three, um, excuse me, uh, three tracks on this. And I like them. I like them a lot. Every song that they do on uh, Keep Flying, I just get impressed every time. But they're good anyways. I love them to death. Shout out to them. Okay, so a punk album, um, My War by uh, Black Flag. I'm actually glad I got a punk rock um, album. This this is a really, really good album, in my opinion. I think this is probably probably tied for my first uh, favorite Black Flag album, definitely. And once I listen to this all the time, it kind of gets me fired up and amped and everything. So This is good. Really good. All right, um, another album by the band Movements, like I said earlier. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this album is called Feel Something, and as you can tell of the art, there's going to be art inside, and then art in the back as well. This is my very, very first vinyl I had ever bought in my life. This is my first vinyl ever. And this is definitely probably one of my favorite probably modern pop punk albums ever it kind of feels like an emo kind of an album but i got addicted of listening to the album that album and i still do i still get addicted but you know <laughs> that's what it is so another band called uh, can't swim and their full album is uh fail you again and here's the artwork as well well, this is focusing on here and then here's the back um i really like this album i mean i wasn't necessarily too impressed with this album but i mean it got me hooked right away but i wasn't like too impressed or anything but this is a really good album really good in my opinion okay Okay, so this uh, vinyl, uh, Rainbow uh, Rising, this is an album that pretty much, um, I don't know if, I don't think I've touched it or someone hasn't. Um, this was probably, yeah, this is 1976. I don't think I've listened to this, but I am more, I, I love 70s music, I do. Um, if anyone has listened to this, please comment down below and please let me know how this vinyl is. I'll probably listen to it tonight or probably tomorrow. But yeah, please let me know about this album. Comment down below. All right. I actually don't know what this is, to be honest. Uh, let me look. Guru Gaga by MFSF. I probably got a vinyl subscription um, of this time. It was sometime like last year or two years ago. And this was probably one of the albums that probably got it and i was probably going to listen to this but i listened to something else all day but the artwork is good i love the artwork i haven't listened to this but if you guys have please comment down below and let me know but yeah i'll probably listen to this okay uh twin picks uh wild onion this impressed me a lot I highly recommend this. This is the most underrated, probably, punk or indie album I've ever listened to, ever. This I highly recommend if you guys want to listen to some kind of music like this or anything. But Twin Picks, I am so glad that they are rising up and they're doing everything they can right now. So please, please let me know how you guys think about this band. Uh, ZZ Top, and I forgot what this album was. <laughs> um, sorry about this, uh, ZZ Top Eliminator. I've listened to this album before. Of course I have, yes, I haven't took the sticker out and everything. So, apologies about that, but 
I've listened to this album probably lots of times, probably digitally, but I don't want to take this out. But this is a good album. It's a really good album. I recommend it. I'm not a huge, like, super fan of ZZ Top, but I do appreciate classical music. Okay, Journeys, uh, Escape. This, of course, of course everyone loves Journey, so this is a good album. I love it. I'm glad I got Journey. <laughs> okay, Yellow Cards, uh, when you're through, think and say yes. Okay, so I actually have a story uh, to say about one of these vinyls. I was um, liking uh, some post from a... Um, I'm trying to say here um i'm trying to like an instagram page called uh vance warp tour and i like their uh sung contest uh vinyl uh contest through this uh, what am i trying to say i can't say anything anymore <laughs> but um this record company called uh hopeless records they were trying to make a uh, i believe it was a five or six um vinyl uh contest so all I had to do was just comment down below and then I had to say my name and they wanted my email and when they wanted my Spotify. So I was like, okay, let's just make it how it is. I don't know if I was going to win or not. And all of a sudden I got like an email or I got a notification by Vans Warped Tour and they're like, hey, you're the winner. And I said, wait, this is for real, right? And then they wanted my email and, you know, I gave them my email and it was real and I was like, okay. <laughs> So, this album, it's probably my second or third favorite from Yellow Card, but my first favorite from Yellow Card is Ocean Avenue for sure, definitely. But this album is good. I really like it, to be honest. This is from 2011, so I highly recommend anyone listen to this album, really, anyone. So, The Strokes, is this it? my favorite album from the strokes definitely if you guys have never heard the strokes please check them out please they are probably one of my favorite indie bands ever probably of all time but yeah highly highly recommended like pacific distance like you asked i think this was my second or third um vinyl i've ever got yeah it's my second or third I haven't listened to this album in a while, but they are definitely, definitely a good modern pop punk band for sure, definitely. The Wonder Years, uh, No Closer to Heaven. Here's the artwork right here. And here as well. And this is one of the albums that I won from the contest, like I told you guys earlier. Um, I highly recommend uh, listening to the Wonder Years. They've been doing so much for so many years. I really appreciate this band a lot. And this album I recommend as well. I saw them live at a festival called Sad Summer uh, last July, I believe, or last August of last year. But I highly recommend listening to this band. I highly recommend. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, so I have a Can't Swim uh, EP. This is the first release they have. This is the first release that I know of that they've had. This really surprised me a lot. So my favorite song probably is Your Clothes or Come Home, probably. That's probably my favorite, at least. It's probably my favorite. Okay. So I have Neck Deep, um, Wishful Thinking, and this, I think this was my second or third uh, Neck Deep album I've ever listened to in my life, but this was more like kind of modern, old school modern pop punk sound, but this is a really good album. So this is more, how do I say this? It's more um, like pop punk sound wise, not much electronic and all that. But yeah, please, please, I highly recommend you listen to this. Uh, 10 Tentative Decisions 
Mikey Erg. I don't know if I listened to this actually, but I will definitely check this out. If you guys have heard this album before, please comment down below and see what your uh, reaction is. Otherwise, I will listen to this and I'll let you guys know how it is. Definitely. Neck Deep, uh, Rain in July slash A History of Bad Decisions. This is a fantastic album. Fantastic album. If you guys have not listened to this, please listen to this. This is probably one of my favorite Neck Deep albums ever. Probably. Okay. Uh, let's see. Electronic Light Orchestra uh, Discovery. I have not listened to this, actually. I'm not going to lie. But I will probably listen to it some other time or soon. I'm not sure. But they, they are good. They are. All right. Uh, turnovers uh, all together. So they, um, t Turnover made a new album um, sometime this year, I believe, or last year. But this, this is a good album. It's not my favorite uh, Turnover album, but I, I love their sound. I love their sound, 100%. But I don't have my favorite album on vinyl. I have it on CD, which is very sad. So I may get it soon on vinyl. So let's see what's going on from there. Okay, so so I have Rome. Uh, it's Backbone by Rome. Sorry. This I think this is my second favorite. Yeah, this is probably my second favorite from uh, Rome. Probably I'll probably have to listen to them again and see how my review is, but. Yeah, this, this is a good album. I really like Rome. Okay. Uh, one by Home Safe. They are actually a band from Chicago. And um, I saw this band live, and I am actually glad I did. I'm actually really glad I did. And they are super fantastic live. So fantastic. So, yeah, I said that twice. <laughs> But yeah, highly recommended. Okay, uh, Turnover's uh, Good Nature. I bought this um, uh, once they were headlining um, a band called um, The Story So Far. Uh, they were headlining, headlining their tour around 2018, I believe. But I saw them live for my first time ever and I was super excited and that was the only reason why I went there. I'm just kidding well I wanted to see all of them but me and my friend were actually late of going to see them or going to see um what was I gonna say I was late to see uh, a band called Movements of that tour but I saw Movements um around Warp Tour of 2018 but um yeah turned over super fantastic live All right, uh, Kaya Jones, you swear it's getting better every day. Kaya Jones is actually really close to me, uh, location-wise, but they are they are good live as well. Uh, they are um, a modern pop punk band, but I wouldn't say they're more emo. But I would check out the sound to uh, let me know. Um, comment down below and let me know. But yeah, they're definitely good. And for my last last album, um, Rome, Great Heights, and uh, Nose Dives. This is probably my favorite album from Rome, definitely. So, all right, I think that's all the vinyls that I have. Um, if you guys would like to see um, more uh, videos like this or any other collection, do you guys want me to? Um, show off or anything <laughs> uh leave a comment down below and let me know uh what you guys think otherwise uh go ahead and give this video a like and go and subscribe right down below like right here and make sure you click down on that uh, bell icon so you know when i'm gonna make a video or you know of when i'm gonna be making some content or anything <laughs> but um yeah i appreciate you guys um being here at the very end to let me know 
excuse me, to let you guys know of uh, when I'm going to be making videos a lot or what ideas that, you know, I'm going to be, you know, making for you guys or anything. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on uh, Thursday and uh, hope you guys have a good day and I will see you guys later. All right, bye now.